Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio, continuing to talk for a little while about finding joy in the midst of sorrows and trial. Last time we looked at the prophet Jeremiah and what he had to say in the book of Lamentations. I'd like to back up chronologically now and, and take a look at something that David had to say. And many of the Psalms have this same characteristic. They begin with complaint, but they turn to joy before the end. I'd like uh, to think about Psalm 30. And traditionally, uh, it is understood that this psalm came at a time of great angst for David when he had, against the uh, advice of God, undertaken to perform a census of Israel. Now, I don't know that God always thinks that censuses are evil, but in this case, the point was that David wanted to increase and raise a standing army because he seemed to want to put faith in chariots and horses when God had said, you need to just let things be and have a little faith in me. But David proceeded with his big project anyway. And God punished him. And, and the punishment was severe. God God gave David three choices and each were equally horrendous. And David just fell on his face and said, how can I choose between such terrible things? So God chose and pestilence fell on the land of Israel. 70,000 people died in the first wave and David himself apparently became ill with this plague that had fallen on the people and, and thought that he might die as well. And in the midst of this situation, in all this trial and travail, in the midst of this psalm, David cries out a few things. Uh, for one, he says, what profit is there in my blood if I go down into the grave? I can't praise you there. And for another, he says, Back in the days of my prosperity, I said to myself, I shall never be moved. But I come to the realization now that the only steadfastness I have belongs to God and not to myself or to my wealth or prospects or any army that I might be able to raise, but to God only. And in the midst of his trials, the best known portion of the psalm is verses 4 and 5. Sing praise to the Lord, you his godly ones, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. In David's case, the cause of the afflictions were well known. And yet even as he realized that he and his people for whom he was responsible suffered under the wrath of God. David knew that this discipline would be short-lived and end, that the joy of the Lord would continue. As I've said several times in the course of these devotions, I, I have no prophetic word to tell you that uh, God is punishing us for some particular thing right now, but nevertheless, we endure a difficult and tragic situation. And in our particular pestilence, uh, we, we, we may exceed David's 70,000. I don't know. But I know this. All the sorrow will last but for a night. And joy will come in the morning. Morning is coming. If you would pray with me. Father God, I pray that you give us the spirit 
that you gave to your servant, David, to humbly acknowledge our faults and our weaknesses and to know that at the end of all discipline and trial and tribulation lies joy for those who cling to you and let us cling to you and find that joy. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.